when we first start school in a new country, we have a lot of questions. So, I decided to ask students about what they wanted to know during their year abroad. What concerns or questions did you have during your first week here? Hello, pueblo de UCL. <laughs> Uh, my biggest concern here at UPF was how the printing system works and how to use the library. For printing, you have to enter the web address for your school printing system, put in your student ID number and password, and upload the document or photo that you wish to print. Then. You find a printer wherever you are in the building. You have a personal printing code. All you have to do is put it in and select the work that you wish to print. And you will have your work printed in a matter of seconds. Moving on to the second point, the library. This is a bit more complicated, but you can still find it, no problem. You walk through the patio, you will see a visible sign of the library. When you enter, go to your left and climb up the stairs. When you get to the floor that you're looking for, just look around and appreciate all the books that you can use. Each section has different books in different languages, authors, and topics. Also remember, there are study areas and computer rooms for students to use whenever they want. There is a computer or computers for you to search the books that you're looking for. And book ID numbers are in order for you to easily find. With the book ID number that you just got from your search, let's go find the book that you're looking for. Hooray! So the thing is that the first from the first time that I come that I came here, mm -hmm. the um, biggest problem for me is to find a classroom because here the the numbers of the classroom just seem so random. So when I first got here, I just got lost in the campus and um, don't know where to go. So okay. that's my biggest problem. All right, thank you. Here is the map of University of Pompeo Fabra with the building numbers on it. Each building has a number, 52 to 55 but most classes are in 52 for language students. Then the next number indicates the floor and the other two digits, it's the number for the classroom. So, if you're looking for classroom 52.119, we go to the building 52, floor 1, and walk down to find number 19. And there you go, you just found your classroom.